a uh, very good morning to one and all so this is shrikan jogar assistant professor in the department of csc de department so today we discuss about the random number generation so the topic learning outcomes are so the students uh, remember the properties of random numbers and generation of pseudo random numbers and uh, techniques of generating the random numbers interpret the different tests for the random numbers the first we will uh, start with the properties of random numbers so random numbers are necessary basic ingredient in the simulation of almost all discrete systems most computer languages have a subroutine object functions that will generate a random number the most computer languages have a subroutine object or a function that will generate the random number a sequence of random numbers r1 r2 dash 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 must have a two important statistical properties uniformity and independence the each random number ri must be an independent sample drawn from a continuous uniform distribution between 0 and 1 that is the pdf is given by pdf probability density function is given by f of x equal to 1 if x lies between 0 and 1 it becomes 0 otherwise the density function is shown in the figure 7.1 the expected value of each random number r of i is given by so capital e of capital r equal to 0 to 1 x into dx which is equal to x squared divided by 2 0 to 1 which is 1 by 2 so pdf for random numbers so you can see the figure 7.1 and the variance is calculated using the formula capital v of capital r variance of a random number is 0 to 1 x squared to dx minus expected value of random number whole square which is equal to x cube divided by 3 0 to 1 minus 1 by 2 rest to 2 which is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 12 so some consequences of uniformity and independence properties are following the first one if the interval is 0 comma 1 is divided into n classes or sub intervals of equal length the expected number of observations in each interval is capital n by small n where capital N is the total number of observation. The probability of observing a value in a particular interval is independent of the previous value drawn. The generation of pseudo random numbers. So pseudo means false, means the false random numbers we are going to generate here. So because generating random numbers using a known method removes the potential for true randomness. So goal of any generation scheme is to produce a sequence of numbers in 0 comma 1 that simulates or imitates the ideal properties of random numbers that is uniformity and independence so there are five errors will occur so what are those errors the generated numbers might not be a uniformly distributed the first one the second one generated numbers might be discrete valued instead of continuous valued the mean of the generated numbers might be too high or too low the variance of the generated numbers might be too high or too low. There might be a dependency is as measured, for instance, by autocorrelation. The importance considerations in random num in random number routines are so there are five considerations are there. The first one is it should be fast, means the gen the the technique or uh, uh, the technique what we are using to generate the random numbers. It should be fast portable to different computers have a sufficient long cycle replicable closely approximate to the ideal statistical properties of uniformity and independence the first one is the method should be fast as i told uh, the individual computations are inexpensive but simulation could require many millions of random numbers so total cost can be managed by selecting a computationally efficient method of random number generation the method should be portable to different computers and ideally to different programming languages okay so the third one the method should have a sufficient long cycle the cycle length or a period represents the length of a random number sequence before the previous numbers begin to repeat themselves in the earlier order the random numbers should be repeatable given the starting point or a condition it should be possible to generate the same set of random numbers completely independent of the system that is being simulated the fifth one, the generated random number should closely approximate the ideal statistical properties of uniformity and independence. The techniques for generation of random numbers. So the first one is linear congruential method that we are going to discuss now. The linear congruential method initially proposed by Lehmer first produces a sequence of integers 
random integers x1 capital x1 capital x2 dash 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 between 0 and 1 m minus 1 by following a recursive relationship that is capital x of i plus 1 which is equal to a small a of capital x of i plus c mod m where i equal to 0 1 2 dash 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 which is the equation 7.1 the initial value x0 is called the seed, a is called the multiplier and c is the increment and m is the modulus. If c is not equal to 0 in the equation 7.1, then the form is called mixed congruential method. When the c is equal to 0, the form is known as multiplicative congruential method. The selection of values for a, c, m and x0 drastically affects the statistical properties and cycle length. The variations equation 7.1 are quite common in the computer generation of random numbers. Notice that the random integers are being generated rather than random numbers. So the random integers should be appear to be uniformly distributed on the integers 0 to m. Random numbers capital R of i between 0 and 1 can be generated by setting the capital R of i equal to capital X of i divided by m. Where i equal to 1, 2, 3, dash, 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 which is 7.2 equation. The linear... Uh, so a is the multiplier here, c is the increment and uh, m is the modulus. Okay, so I will take one example to solve uh, the using the linear congruential method. We are going to generate the three random numbers. Okay, uh, so use x naught equal to 27 and a equal to 17 and c equal to 43 and m equal to 100. Okay, so this question is asked in the previous question papers earlier uh, for six marks or eight marks. The xi and ri values are so x1 equal to 17 into 27 plus 43 mod 100 which is equal to 502 mod 10 100 which is equal to 2. So this is a 2 is a random integer. So we need to convert to random number by using the equation capital R of i equal to capital X i by m. Okay, we will get R1 equal to 100 by okay 2 by 100 which is 0 0.02. So x2 is put the values of a c x naught and m so you will get 77 random integer so 77 by 100 is 0 0.77 that is a random number r2 then x3 is 17 star 77 plus 32 mod 100 equal to 52 so 52 by 100 equal to 0 0.52 which is random number 3 so continue like this okay next characteristics of a good generator okay so whatever we take the technique so the maximum density is such that the values assumed by ri where i equal to 1 to leave no large gaps on 0 and 1 problem instead of continuous each ri is discrete solution a very a very large integer for modulus m approximation appears to be a little consequences the maximum period second one to achieve the maximum density and avoid cycling achieved by proper choice of a c m and x naught so most digital computers are used binary representation of numbers. Speed and efficiency are aided by the modulus m to be close to a power of 2. The next is the test for random numbers. So after generating the random numbers, we need to test them for the uniformity and independence. So there are two categories, testing for uniformity, that is h0 equal to r of i equal to u uniformity of 0, 0,1. Okay, so failure to reject the null hypothesis H0 means that the evidence of no uniformity has not been detected. Test for independence, so H0 that is R of i is independently. Okay, failure to reject the null hypothesis H0 means that the evidence of dependence has not been detected. The level of significance that is the alpha, okay, which is closely looks like A but it is not A. The probability of rejecting H0 when it is true. So alpha is equal to capital P of reject H0, comma H0 is true. The test for random numbers, that is when to use these tests. So if a well-known simulation languages or random number generator is used, it is probably unnecessary to test them. If the generator is not explicitly known or documented, example spreadsheet programs, symbolic or numerical calculators, test should be applied to many sample numbers. So types of test, so theoretical test, Okay, evaluate the choices of M, A, C without actual generated by any numbers. Empirical test applied to the actual sequence of numbers produced or produced. Then the first is the frequency test. Okay, so this is the test for uniformity. 
So here we are having two tests. One is Kormogorov's Birnau test, short lethal rod as KS test, and another one is chi square test. So frequency test uses the KS test or chi square test to compare the distribution of a set of numbers generated to a uniform distribution. The autocorrelation test test for tests the correlation between the number and compares the sample correlation to the desired correlation that is zero. The KS test the compares the continuous CDF that is f of x okay of uniform distribution with the empirical CDF Sn of x of the n sample observation. So if the sample from the random number generator is r1, r2, comma rn dash dash rn then the empirical CDF Sn of x is number of r1 comma r2 dash dash rn which are less than or equal to x divided by capital n so f of x equal to x x less than 0 to 1 based on the statistics d equal to max of f of x minus sn of x okay so a sampling distribution of d is known as a function of n tabulated in the a dot 8 that is at the end of the textbook fifth edition so we have the appendix eighth okay uh, the next we will uh, discuss about the ks test Okay, by taking a one example, okay, so we have five steps are there in this uh, KS test, okay. Uh, so consider, uh, let us suppose five generated numbers are uh, 0 0.44, 0 0.81, 0 0.14, and 0 0.05 and 0.93, okay. In the first step, what we do is arrange R of I from a smallest to largest, okay, that is 0 0.05, 0 0.14, 0 0.41, and 0.93. Okay, then, so I by N, calculate I by capital N, so capital N is here 5, so I is 1, so 1 by 5 is 0 0.20, 2 by 5 is 0 0.40, 3 by 5 is 0 0.60, 4 by 5 is 0 0.80, 5 by 5 is 1. The step 2, so cap I by capital N minus R of I, that is we are calculating the d plus that is d plus is max of i by n minus capital r of i so we will get for the first random number 0 0.05 is 0 0.15 0 0.26 0 0.6 and 0 0.07 at the last then d minus which is max of r of i minus parenthesis i minus 1 divided by capital n Okay, so that is 0 0.05, 0 0.04, 0 0.21, 0 0.13, you will get. So in the step 3, what we do is d equal to max of d plus and d minus, okay, which is equal to 0 0.26 because d plus value is higher, which is the higher value, d plus is higher or d minus is higher, that value we are going to take. Then step 4 is for alpha is 0 0.05, which is given in the problem statement, the level of significance, okay. So d alpha is 0 0.565, which is greater than d okay so hence h naught is not rejected okay so we need to go to the see the this is the table a dot 8 which is there at the end of the textbook appendix 8 ks critical values okay so degrees of freedom n here given five numbers are there so five go to the alpha is 0 0.05 you will get 565 so 0.565 which is okay so 0.565 the tabulated value is 0.565 which is higher than the calculated value okay so always the uh, table value should be higher than the calculated value okay then it is accepted so hence h naught is not rejected means it is accepted then we discuss about the chi square test so chi square test uses the sample statistics that is x naught square equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n o of i minus e of i whole square divided by e of i okay so o of i means observed in the ith class e of i is means expected in the ith class okay then small n is the uh, hash of classes okay so approximately the chi square distribution with the n minus 1 degrees of freedom where the critical values are tabulated in table a dot 6 for the uniform distribution e of i the expected number in the each class is so capital e of i is equal to capital n by small n where capital n is the total number of observation so valid only for large samples that is this test is used for when the n value is greater than or equal to 50. So we'll take one example that is 7.7 .7. okay so here we can see the 100 numbers are given okay so use the chi square test with alpha level of significance is given is 0 0.05 
okay so test the whether the data show next or uniformly distributed or not okay so it uses the see this is the computation for chi square test for the problem okay so it has interval that is so 1 2 3 2 till 10 so means the uh, the range is 0 comma 1 this is divided equally into 10 sub intervals okay that is interval 1 means 0 comma 0.1 interval 2 means 0.1 comma 0.2 interval 3 is 0.2 comma 0.3 like that till 0.9 comma 1 okay so here o of i o of i is what observed number um observed number okay so in this out of 100 numbers how many numbers falls in the range of 0 comma 0.1 that is you will get 8 numbers like that how many numbers out of 100 okay in the range of 0.1 comma 0.2 that is 8 then how many numbers out of 100 which are false in the range of 0.2 comma 0.3 like that okay you will calculate the numbers for the o of i values you will get 8 8 10 9 12 8 10 14 10 11 so here how to find how to confirm that you are done correct so add some all these values you, will, you should get 100 if you didn't get 100 means you made some mistakes in counting then e of i is okay as you know that expected is that is capital n by small n so capital n is 100 small n is uh, uh, small n is uh, 10 so 100 by 10 is 10 So you will get uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So that is, uh, if you sum, this is 100. So O of i minus E of i. So O of i minus E of i, you will get the uh, th fourth column values. Okay. So O of i minus E of i whole square. Hello. 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 Hmm. Ini ke? Nai record mana tu? Tadi mandi mesti. Muat tak sekolah sini? So, computation of chi square test 